Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another Biology presentation. So in this presentation, we are going to answer a question that came in Biology paper 2 for 2012. So this was question 5. So we we'll now look at our questions. So here is our question 5A1. So the question reads, figure 5.1 and figure 5.2. They show the cross section through two different portions of the human alimentary canal. So we have this figure 5.1. We also have figure 5.2. So figure 5.1 and figure 5.2, they are labeled uh, B. You can see B right here. We also have C. Uh, Roman number 1, A1. From which part of the alimentary canal were these cross sections taken? So figure 5.1. So where was this figure 5.1 taken? And where was figure 5.2 taken? So figure 5.1 was taken from who? The stomach. Wow, figure 5.2 was taken from who? The duodenum. So we have said that figure 5.1 was taken from the stomach. And figure 5.2 was taken from who? The duodenum. So we have answered our question A1. Let us now move on to our second question. So here is our question A2. So our question A2 uh, reads give reasons for your answers in a1 above so they want us to give reasons why we have said that figure 5.1 was taken from uh, the stomach and figure 5.2 was taken from uh, the duodenum so the reasons that we can give is that figure 5.1 was taken from the stomach because we can see that uh, we have the the muscle tissues right here this this part this is the muscle tissue and this one then we also have the grandi tissues so that's why we have said figure 5.1 was taken from the stomach okay so that is our reason we have said the walls of the stomach they consist of muscle tissues and grandi tissues now figure 5.2 why have we said that this figure was taken from the duodenum okay we have said that figure 5.2 was taken from the duodenum because of this part labeled C which is the pancreatic duct and we can see that we have a pancreas right here so we understand that the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine okay through which um, through which the pancreas is connected through this C, pancreatic duct that's why we said D, figure 5.2 was taken from the duodenum so we can write our answer as uh, the duodenum is the structure to which the pancreas is connected through C. So this C is called the pancreatic duct. So we have answered our question A2. We now move on to the second question. So we've come to our question B. So this is our question B right here. The question reads, explain the role played by B in the alimentary canal. So we can see this part labeled B. So what is the role played by this part labeled B? So this part labeled B, I did mention that these are the muscle tissues, okay? So these muscle tissues are the secular and the longitudinal muscles, okay? So these are the secular and longitudinal muscles. So the role of these uh, of this part or these muscles, they play a role in the process called the peristosis, which is just a wave-like movement of the bolus. Okay, so during this process, these muscles, they will be able to push the bolus down the alimentary canal, okay, through the contraction and the relaxation, meaning that these two muscles, they work in opposite, meaning that they are antagonistic muscles, okay. So you can write that as your answer, or if you want, you can write or answer using a different way, okay, of which you can say, uh, the secular and the longitudinal muscles, they work together to ensure efficient and effective digestion by pro uh, propelling food through the alimentary canal, mixing the food with digestive juices, meaning the digestive enzymes, and controlling the rate of what? Food passage. That is the role of who? part B. So here we have said that part B ensure efficient and effective digestion by propelling food through the alimentary canal, mixing it with digestive juices and controlling the rate of food passage. So, that is the role of these uh, muscle tissues. 
they ensure that as food is passing along the alimentary canal, they are mixing it with the digestive uh, juices, meaning that they are mixing it with the, the digestive enzymes that have been produced. Okay. Apart from that, they also maintain or control the rate of what food passage. So we have answered our question B. We now move on to our next question. So we come to our question C. So this is our question C right here. Our question C reads, name two juices passing through tube C. So as we can see, we have tube C right here. And I've said that this tube C is called the pancreatic tube. Or we can say the pancreatic duct. So in this pancreatic duct, that is where the pancreatic juice passes from. Okay. So... The juice that passes through the pancreatic duct, this one, it is called the pancreatic juice. So this pancreatic juice, it contains digestive enzymes that help to break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats in the small intestine. Okay? So in terms of answering this question, they have said, uh, name two juices. Okay? So they want you to name two juices. So you are not going to write pancreatic juice. No, that is the general term. So you need to write the digestive uh, enzymes that are contained in the pancreatic juice. So the digestive enzymes that are contained there, we have the we have the pancreatic amylase. We also have the pancreatic lipase. We also have the pancreatic protease. We also have the pancreatic nucleases. So these are digestive enzymes that are contained in the pancreatic juice. Okay. So here we have said we can write our answer as pancreatic lipase. Okay. So this pancreatic lipase is just a digestive enzyme that breaks down fats or lipids into fat, acids, and glycerol. Okay. We also have pancreatic protease. So pancreatic protease is just a digestive enzyme that breaks down proteins into amino acids. And um, examples of these pancreatic proteases, we have uh, trypsin and chemotrypsin. Apart from that, we also have uh, pancreatic amylase. So pancreatic amylase is just a digestive enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates, okay, meaning starch food into simple sugars. So these were the answers. They just needed to. Now I've just included the third one in case you forget to. You are able to remember the other one. So we've come to the end of our session. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.